figure out. Um, hello, my name is Tatiana Cantavelli, and I'm the founder and CEO of Open Health Network. Um, we'll be talking today, today about chatbots, and um, I was very impressed listening to previous talks about apps. And what I want to tell you um, that um, I have a news for you. Um, chatbots actually will replace all kinds of patient engagements, and apps will not be the thing that patients will use. So uh, let me tell you why. I know it's very controversial, but uh, there are reasons uh, I'm saying this. Um, what are chatbots? Chatbots is a conversational way of interacting with patients. So um, there will be slides running behind me, and think about the patient. Think about those uh, people who we looked at um, using apps in previous presentations. Those people, those patients, most likely have more than one disease. So can you imagine those elderly people trying to find one app for um, nutrition, another app for diabetes, another app for something else, because they are not single-dimensional people. So this is not, in, this is the main reason why most of the apps initially used in them, they're not used by patients. So what I am saying is that there is a way to interact with uh, patients without them going through multiple phases of clicks. So can you imagine I have to find an app, click, open. Then I need to find a function with an app, another click, and then I get to some other option where I need to log something or read something. So imagine if the system actually communicates with you in the natural language and talks to you with text messaging, and everybody is using text messaging. In Integrated chatbots is the future of the apps, where um, you can just ask, when is my next appointment, or I'm not feeling well today, and the chatbot can guide you through a variety of different steps that need, uh, you need to manage your health. Um, now, there are certain things that's important for chatbots in healthcare. I have a blog post, and if you Google chatbots in healthcare, my last name, you will find it. The key points are, in most cases, you do want chatbot to be integrated with AMR. This, you don't want to onboard every single time um, uh, all the patient information. You might need to uh, have a back end where caregivers and nurses will put certain data in front front end will be chatbot for the patients. Uh, you might need to think about personalization, AI tools, and all those technologies in multiple uh, back end supportive ways of uh, integrating uh, patient experiences via one single chatbot. It, there are many different angles to the chatbots, and I'm just giving you examples here of different types of chatbots. Now, this was the phase one, where there is one chatbot for nutrition, another one for medication adherence, another one for something else. What we're doing now, we're actually integrating all those chatbots in one conver uh, conversational way of patients managing their health. And guess what? All those chatbots that developed on our chatbot platform immediately voice enabled. So can you imagine a patient can just say, oh, I'm not feeling well today, or uh, Alexa will tell them, don't forget your medication, or you know what? You you didn't walk enough today, or you set up your health goal of walking five miles, you didn't do that today. So there are many different ways on how voice-enabled chatbots and conversational type of chatbots via any types of type of text messaging will actually enable patients to take care of their health. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so uh, with that, I just want to open maybe for Q&A, uh, because I know it's a very complex and controversial uh, topic, so I wanted to give you time to kind of ask me questions if you will. 